Present. Director Groven? Here. Director Higgins? Present. Director Holt? Present. Director Lewis? Here. Director Ross? Here. And all paperwork completed. Director Durani? Uh, item two on the agenda. Wait, are you here? I'm sorry. Yes, I'm okay. here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We have a quorum of eight present and no absent. I think. If the record would also show that directors Frega, Cotel, Magalis, Melvin, Pang, Dr. Sager, Director Triani, and Chairman Dillard are all also present, one by phone. I guess I'm excited about leaving. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> item two on the agenda is the approval of minutes from the meeting held on June 21st, 2018. Uh, are there any questions or comments? Hearing none, do I have a motion to so by uh, Director Fuentes, seconded by Director Higgins? Uh, roll call. Okay, no. Director Colson? Yes. Director Fuentes? Aye. Director Groven? Yes. Director Higgins? Aye. Director Holt? Yes. Director Lewis? Yes. Director Ross? Yes. Director Durani? Yes. Seven ayes and one abstention. Uh, I'm excited to give this report. Uh, Director Colson met with the auditors, but uh, allowed me the privilege of having my last hurrah. And uh, so I'll move forward. Thank you, uh, Director Colson. Uh, item 3A and 3B is an ordinance approving the combining financial report and certifying compliance with the RTA Act recovery ratio requirement for 2018 and an ordinance approving and releasing the RTA 2018 Comprehensive Annual Financial Report B. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We will miss you, sincerely. Thank you for your leadership. Thank you for your guidance and for being so great to work with. Um, but at any rate, we are here to present the um, combined financial statement and the uh, annual audit. Uh, with me here is Joe Evans from RSM. Uh, he's been our partner for many years. Uh, this is the third year of his engagement. And also we have Maria Prado from Prado and Renteria who conducted the single audit. Uh, there will be one presentation uh, on both of these items. Joe will conduct the presentation. I also want to uh, commend uh, uh, John Yu, who is our controller and his finance team uh, for working very hard, especially as we have an ERP implementation going on. Uh, and getting this done on time and with a clean audit, which you will hear from shortly. So go ahead, Joe. Thank you very much. Uh, again, Joe Evans, a partner with RSM, and Maria Prado, um, partner with Prado and, Prado and Renteria, sorry. Um, RSM is the uh, fifth largest CPA firm, and we take the lead in the audit, but the uh, DBE firm of Prado and Renteria works with us. Um, the goal is to have 15% uh, minority participation with a DBE firm, and we achieved that goal. The key areas that they worked on were the single audit uh, and compliance testing, and uh, when we get to the single audit section, I'll have Maria uh, present that section. The scope of services includes the RTA Comprehensive Annual Financial Report. That's the main uh, financial statement of the RTA. We also prepare the combining financial statements of the RTA and the service boards. This is a requirement by the uh, Illinois statutes. There's a separate audit done of the Joint Self-Insurance Fund, a separate audit of the pension plan, and uh, because the pension plan includes uh, Metra and PACE employees. There's also an allocation report that's prepared allocating the net pension liability to the three participating entities. And then finally, the single audit is the federal programs audit that's performed in accordance with uniform guidance. The overall audit results are very good. Uh, the audit opinions are unmodified. Uh, that's a clean opinion, means you met all of the appropriate standards. That covers the RTA, uh, Comprehensive Annual Financial Report, the Joint Self-Insurance Fund, and the RTA Pension Plan. As required by audit standards, we're required to point out to you that these financial statements do uh, contain uh, certain uh, judgments and accounting estimates, and that relates primarily to the investment area, the investment valuation. 
uh, to the net pension liability and to this uh, new liability we're calling other post-employment benefits, uh, which is really the retiree insurance subsidy, and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit more detail. Just a couple highlights uh, with respect to the CAFR. Uh, the uh, financial statements of the RTA were awarded the GFOA Certificate for Excellence uh, for the 24th straight year. Uh, this is a very prestigious award from the Government Finance Officers Association. Uh, just a couple financial highlights. Uh, revenues were over budget by $4.4 million, and this is primarily due to investment income, which came in over budget uh, by about that amount. Uh, the state of Illinois, uh, receipts from the state of Illinois, the timing has improved on those receipts. And uh, all other revenues were very close to budgeted amounts uh, for the uh, RTA. Uh, expenditures were over by about $2.2 million, uh, but this is primarily due to the Regional Technical Assistance Program, which is a pass-through uh, federally funded program. So uh, those amounts... Uh, uh, additional receipts pass right through the organization. Now I'm going to talk a little bit more in detail about some new accounting standards. GASB 75 was required to be implemented this year. And what GASB 75 refers to is the retiree health insurance subsidy that's provided to retirees uh, of the RTA. And uh, the new standard requires that this subsidy be recorded on the books of the RTA. It's, it's existed for many years, but it's never been accounted for as a total liability on the books of the RTA. So implementing this new standard, of course, uh, enhanced transparency of the RTA's financial statements, and it resulted in an additional liability of, uh, in the $500,000 range uh, that was recorded as of December 31st, 2018. With respect to this special purpose compilation, this is the separate report that's uh, required to be submitted to the state. Uh, it includes uh, the RTA and all the service boards. Uh, what we do here is we accumulate the uh, audits of the service boards and they're submitted to us. Uh, each audit was provided along with a clean opinion, so they also received uh, unmodified opinions. And each service board then certifies their recovery ratio to the RTA. Uh, we then combine that information, and uh, we're happy to report that the recovery ratios for the region and paratransit have all met the statutory requirements. Uh, the region-wide ratio is 52.6%, uh, and the 88 paratransit uh, recovery ratio, 10.4%. Uh, the additional financial audits that are prepared uh, relate to the Joint Self-Insurance Fund and the pension plan. The Joint Self-Insurance Fund has a net assets or net position of $23.1 million. The RTA contributed $3 million from the general fund, and this helped fund the insurance premiums that were $5.3 million uh, for the fiscal year. The RTA pension plan, as I mentioned, includes the employees of RTA, PACE, and METRA, the non-union employees. Combined employer contributions of $12.9 million were made during 2018. And during the fourth quarter of 2018, uh, due to the market turmoil, the investment portfolio reported a market value loss of $18 million for 2018. Maria? Thank you, Joe. I will present some highlights on the single audit. The RTA reported total federal expenditures of $6.9 million for the year 2018 across five federal programs. The five federal programs are the Federal Transit Formula Grants with $2.2 million, the Transit Services Programs with $3.9 million, the Highway and Planning Construction Program with 199000 the Metropolitan Statewide and Non-Metropolitan Planning Program with 204000 and the Public Transportation Research Programs with 331000 Based on the results of the testing of federal expenditures, 
there were no instances of non-compliance noted by the auditors. With respect to audit findings, uh, there were no material weaknesses or significant deficiencies uh, noted during the fiscal year audit. So uh, again, compliments to management on a very uh, clean audit. Uh, there were some other matters uh, that we do not consider to be uh, significant deficiencies, but there were other matters that we did discuss with management uh, relating to the presentation in the financial statements. Uh, uh, one of those has to do with the, pri uh, the valuation of private equity funds. And the uh, situation here is these valuations are re routinely reported on a one-quarter lag. Uh, that is the industry standard. Uh, but what that requires us to do is to wait to issue those financial statements until um, the information is available. Uh, we also noted that there were some benefits uh, uh, that were paid to deceased retirees. Uh, we noted that there were two retirees that passed away but continued to, to receive uh, benefits from the pension fund. Uh, one of those uh, had elected 100% joint survivor, so the fact that the payment continued to be made did not result in any financial loss because they would have uh, gotten those funds anyway. Uh, and the other one, um, the uh, plan is in the process of recovering those funds. Uh, we also noted some census data inconsistencies. Uh, this had to do with some employment dates, uh, gender, and salary amounts uh, that were reported uh, uh, inaccurately to the pension plan. Uh, we've discussed those with management, and those have all been corrected. So no major issues uh, in connection with the audits. I just lo uh, would like to point out some uh, things on the horizon. There's a new ERP system implementation going on at the RTA. Uh, that will require uh, system data conversion testing and control testing in the new system. And there are some new accounting pronouncements that will affect next year's uh, statements. That uh, has to do with the um, fiduciary activities or the sales tax fund uh, that will be reported differently in next year's financial statements. And then finally, uh, GASB Statement 87 dealing with leases is still two years away, but there are no more operating leases. So uh, with all leases now, all of the assets and all of the debt will be coming on to the financial statements. Uh, may not have a big impact with the RTA, but to the extent the service boards uh, are leasing assets, it could have a tremendous impact on the region-wide statements. Finally, this is just a summary of all the required communications we as auditors are to have with boards like yours. The responsibility of these financial statements is primarily with management. They uh, develop the systems and the controls to make sure things are operating on a daily basis. Uh, number two, uh, I mentioned we did adopt a new accounting standard this year that was reporting f uh, for the uh, post-employment benefits, uh, but no other significant or unusual transactions. Uh, I had talked about management's judgments and estimates uh, included in the financial statements. There were no audit adjustments, uh, no past audit adjustments, no disagreements with management, no consultations with other accountants, uh, no significant issues discussed prior to retaining us, and no difficulties in performing the audit. Finally, at the conclusion of the audit, we received a written representation from management indicating that they've complied and provided all of the information we requested. So with that, I'd be happy to take any comments or questions. Are there any uh, questions or comments? I just wanted to add one other quick comment. Um, in preparation for the, well, the completion of the auditor's work and in preparation before the board meeting, we also did discuss this, uh, all the results and findings with, thoroughly with the vice chair of the audit committee, Bill Colson, as well, because we were in a transition phase uh, between our current chair, and so we, we thought it appropriate to discuss with, with Director Colson as well. Great. So no questions or comments. Hearing none, I'll ask for a motion second by uh, Director Colson and uh, motions and Director Holt seconds. Uh, roll call. Director Colson. Aye. Director Fuentes. Aye. Director Groban. Aye. Director Higgins. Aye. Director Holt. Aye. Director Lewis. Aye. Director Ross. Aye. 
Director Durrani? Aye. Eight ayes. Uh, if there's no further business, come before the Audit Committee. I'll ask for a motion and a second to adjourn so by Director Fuentes, seconded by Director Groban. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 We are adjourned. Good morning, everyone. I call the